Hi everyone, welcome to the 15th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will use Imputer to handle missing values. We'll learn how to use Imputer strategy parameter to deal with not a number. So we'll start from where we have left in the session number 14. And we are going to uh, deal with the second approach. Now, before uh, starting with imputer, I would generally I would like to uh, mention few important uh, terms and terminologies of machine learning. Like in a typical a typical machine learning environment, we have to identify the features and labels. So, what is features and what is labels? Features can also be referred to as the input variable or the independent variables. And labels can also be referred to as the uh, output variables or the target variables or the dependent variables. We'll uh, just uh, use this uh, graph to understand that. Now, feature in most of the places are referred to as capital X. And labels are referred to as small y. Now, in this graph, x axis is the years of experience and the salary. Uh, in dollars is the y-axis here salary we can see salary is dependent on the number of e years of experience so if you can see for two years the average salary will be somewhere around 1k for four years it will be somewhere around more than 2k 2.2k and for six years it will be somewhere around 3k so the salary is totally dependent on the years of experience. So years of experience will be my feature and the salary here, salary will be my label or the target variable or the output variables. And also note in this case, it, it is just a two dimensional array. So we have one feature and one uh, number of variables in feature is one that is the years of experience and the target is one in in the in <coughs> There will be only one target variable in all the cases of classification and regression But the number of feature variable can be more than one like here. We have the years of experience uh, In which field is you have the years of experience Right, and then what is your age all those things will contribute uh, to help to give you a, a decent uh, like uh, model so let's start this is our data we have the uh, country age what we have done in the uh, session number 14th country age gender we can see all these spaces when we import this to python it will be replaced by nans this is not a case uh, this is a typical case of uh, classification in this case we need to suppose if we need to uh, 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 we need to predict whether this user will purchase the item or not based on the core features like country, age, gender, occupation, employment, status, employment type and salary. We need to predict whether it will buy or not. But in this, uh, our core object of uh, intention of this session is to handle the missing value. Classification regression will be doing in later exercises, later classes. So let's start with... Uh, we have all we already have uh, imported the data so if we so if we give df dot info we have the everything is in place now we have the data set we have the null values everything now how we will so if you can see here in python everything every column start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 0 to 6 is my feature and the last column will be my label this purchase though we'll not use but i'm just showing you so if we can say features is equals to df dot i look colon comma colon minus one so if we give colon comma colon minus one, it will go till the second last column of the data set dot values. Okay, this there. 
Now, if you want to see the what is feature, okay, and what is the type of feature, an array, and what is the shape of feature, it, it is it contains twenty record and seven columns. Now, as per this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now what is labels? Labels is equal to we have dot I have and which is the only minus one, the last column dot values. If we type labels, okay, sorry, it is. If we give the label dot shape, okay. okay. So now, <laughs> imputer will help us to fill the missing values with mean, median, or mean, median. It is based on typically first what we'll do. We will import the imputer from the pre-processing using the uh, sklearn from sklearn dot pre-processing. Processing import imputer, and then we need to define the imputer object is equal to. You can see the parameters of this imputer class is the self missing values is equal to nn strategy mean or median. Also, we can give access zero means the uh, uh, row wise access is equal to one means the column wise. And the other parameters as well. So what we will use first missing value is equals to in our case missing value is n a n comma. Then we have strategy is equals to we'll use for example we use me comma axis is equals to zero. And whenever you are uh, using uh, imputer, it, it is a two-step transformation. Like one, we have to fit the imputer, and then we have to transform it. So what we will do, we'll give two-step transformation, which is fit and transform. So will give imputer dot fit features what is our feature colon comma now imputer will be applied only on the numeric column so in our case numeric column is the age and the salary so this is first column means 0 1 to 1 and 6 so we'll give 1 comma 6 okay we have not uh, this. Okay, because we have not executed the library we have not executed this import computer okay now we need to do the transform so transformation will be done on the same features hold on comma one comma six is equals to computer dot fit understand underscore transform Features now, if you see the value of feature here, just here, okay. okay. Uh,
suppose we will try to get it into a pandas df1 is equals to pd dot data frame features now if we give df1 dot head then so if you can see here in this for this row number 0 1 2 3 4 5 for Poland and this India uh, after Poland which is a uh, record India we the average age is replaced by 35 and also 1 2 3 4 5 fifth for, for the fifth uh, in the salary column the fifth record is being replaced by the average 1 2 3 Four, five, six, one, six, two, five. So you can see again. You can see six, one, six, two, five here. Also six, one, six, two, five. So there also you can see. So in this way, we can use imputation or imputer object to handle the missing values. And please note, uh, in the next session, I'll be uh, uh, I'll be dealing with the. Uh, Imputer is a very good uh, way to handle missing values, but again, uh, there are ways where we can even if you want to Im uh, improve the score, then we can use group by by using the several columns and get the specific mean or uh, median that will be more accurate and also depends on your model. Now, this is the way how we will uh, deal with our numerical missing values. What if we want to deal with uh, there are other columns which have uh, values are missing like occupation employment status in the in this case what we'll do we'll uh, deal with mode mode is nothing but the maximum repeated values in your particular column so it will be replaced by that like as follows in this case in this case uh, the numeric a uh, non numeric column is occupation which has uh, not a number which has missing occupation employment status and employment type okay so what we will do we will say columns is equals to columns is equals to occupation Employment status status employment type so these are the columns now if you want to replace it with suppose the mode values okay so what we'll do df equals equals to df equals dot fill na fill na is normally when uh, we want to fill the missing values then we'll use but what is the way what is the strategy here df mode we are going to fill it with mode dot iloc Okay, this is why a e extra e is there. Okay, now if we get df dot info, so you can see. Okay, features whatever we applied, see whatever we applied that was applied on the features, not on this. So it's still there, but the non numeric uh, columns is being uh, filled with the 
filled with the like uh, it is being the missing values is being filled with our strategy of mode so in this way we can use uh, imputation logic how to fill the missing values and also we can use the uh, like for non numeric columns we can use different strategy like filling it with modal values so thank a lot for thanks a lot for uh, viewing the session if you feel this video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel also if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thank you